Okay, good morning everyone. Um, here, back at the new house. Really sunny again. A couple of clouds, but it's uh, it's nice. It says six degrees, but it feels a bit warmer. Um, so I went to the hardware store earlier. I picked up a new lock for the door. Um, bought my chainsaw, big extension cable. Um, and I'm probably just gonna try and process some of the wood so it'll fit in the, uh, in the large barn before Emma has to start work at 11 o'clock. I feel like a real man when I got this one. Now when you're going through um, old beams especially that have been out in the barn um, they're going to be riddled, absolutely riddled with nails. Um, yeah, hopefully this can pick it up. So we've got a big one through here, uh, there's one here. These are just the ones that I can see. Um, there's a lot that you can't. So be real careful, especially with a chainsaw. Um, you don't want to be hitting any nails. Um, little tip to just to check the area that you're going to be cutting in get a small magnet um, and just whip it whip it around you know you can see where I cut here just go around with the magnet and it will tell you if there's anything in that area um, yeah I didn't bring one today forgot so that's now all of the larger bits cleared um, I'm gonna see if I can go through this pile here which was the uh, we're calling it a wall, but it was just more like a, a really big fence with a small gate. Um, so yeah, not not a great deal that we can use um, from what I saw when I put it there, but plenty good enough to put in the burn pile. So uh, I might get the chainsaw on some of the larger bits, but uh, yeah, it's going to be the next hour of my life. Enjoy. If you come across old boxes like this, really good for kindling. Yeah, just had a quick look. It's too many nails and all of this stuff, so it's all going to have to be cut by hand, piece by piece, one at a time. What a mess. And you can see some of these pieces have been uh, have been slightly shaped. Um, this is probably willow. Um, it's what uh, it's what they use for things like cricket bats. Um, real strong, real nice to carve. Um, so I'm not going to burn these, maybe I'll turn them into uh, handles for an axe, a shovel, a spade, something like that. I've, uh, I've found about five or six of these, so they'll definitely be kept. So uh, yeah, that's the, the main pile taken care of. All of the smaller bits have gone through into what will be our bedroom. Uh, and these are the longer pieces which I'll put up through that door over there. So that's the longer piece is taken care of. Um, all apart from, uh, well, what I'm calling a fence panel. Um, I'm probably just going to put that in the garden. Um, it's quite waterlogged down here. So if we need to move something and just place it outside, we'll, we'll put it on that. Um, yeah, none of it's usable. All firewood, so I don't mind if it gets wet. So, time for me to uh, head back to our house, um, take over for, for Emily, 
um, so she can start work. Monday's normally pretty busy, so I imagine this will be all I get done today. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll do a quick run round. We, we've got a load of stuff cleared from here. This area is all cleared. Um, and hopefully the, uh, the camera will pick it up. We don't have a great camera and we don't have any lights here or anything. Um, so yeah, maybe from this angle, you'll be able to see just how much wood we've got to process in the spring. Um, it's gonna be a long day. Uh, and I did notice we've actually got, up in the top of the barn, we've got some other uh, beams, timbers, all sorts of stuff. Some boards over there. Um, it looks like some oak. Uh, it's sort of like a, it's like a faux floor. Um, I wouldn't stand on it, but um, but yeah, maybe just for storing something light. That's what it was used for. But yeah, all that's got to come out. And I've got four ladders there, none of which I trust. Um, so they'll probably have to be cut down. Um, but at the moment they're not in my way, so they can stay there. Um, all right, signing out. Thank you.